Welcome to this channeled forecast for the week of September 18 to 24th, 2023. Here I focus on the major aspects with an emphasis on the personal and interpersonal influences. All times of Pacific Standard Time. You'll find timestamps in the caption as well as comment section so you can easily return to the relevant days you need. The visuals used are to enhance the forecast but in no way necessary to understand the content so feel free to simply listen along. This week as the sun finishes up in Virgo it is opposed by Neptune and then trine Pluto. It may be hard to know what is real and the first half of the week it's best to be cautious about believing everything you see and hear. But as the fog lifts the truth begins to seep through. By Thursday, a lot of healing and forward momentum to act in our authenticity is becoming available. Venus now direct is making wonderful aspects to Chiron and Mars, even as those two bodies are in a challenging opposition. As we finish Virgo season on Friday night, we emerge on Saturday, September 23rd at the autumn equinox, eager to make compromises, but also aware that we have to respect and stand up for ourselves when necessary. The weekend could have us revisiting old issues around individual needs and those around how we partner. As we head into fall, the polarity of the Libra South Node and Aries North Node axis, where we stand confidently and authentically on our own, and where we need to find balance and cooperation with the other, will continue to be the key themes. On Monday, September 18, we're coming off that weekend square between Venus and Jupiter that is still in play, but now separating. It may have had some of us overindulging or perhaps overspending, Hopefully, you are able to enjoy the more positive, abundant and feel-good side of this transit. The active transit now is the opposition between the Sun and Neptune, which will be exact in the pre-dawn hours of Tuesday. This may be a time of faulty reasoning, deception and a feeling of lowered vitality. At its best, we are more spiritually inspired and even compassionate, but there is the risk of not seeing others clearly. We do have a Mercury ruled Sun with Mercury very strong right now, so the Sun is being given some extra support even as it is opposed by a retrograde Neptune in its home sign. We likely can't see the full truth right now, but by combining intuition and intellect it's a good time to observe. This afternoon when the waxing Scorpio moon is sextile Mercury, our right and left brain can be quite lit up, so take notes. Maybe create some art and be ready to come back to reassess your analysis when the Sun-Neptune opposition has passed. The Sun is also building in the trine to Pluto, which will be exact Wednesday night, combined with a Scorpio moon. Right now we want to go deep to uncover what has been hidden, however unpleasant, so we can go forward once the fog has lifted, armed with facts that let us be transformed. In the pre-dawn hours of Tuesday, September 19, the opposition between the Sun and Neptune is exact. This is not an easy day with the potential for misunderstandings and poor judgment. The Scorpio moon is also making a series of challenging aspects. It will be in a T-square with Jupiter, Uranus and Venus. With a strong Mercury, we're trying to find our way through the Neptunian fog and make sense out of the various impressions, perhaps media stories and hard to pin down downloads that are streaming in. The Sun is also building in the trine to Pluto, wanting to uncover more and possibly giving us surprising discoveries about secrets and power dynamics. But as much as there's a parallel desire for decisive action, growth and ambition today, it's easy to see how impatience can result in missteps and poor choices, taken on faulty information. In the afternoon especially, slow down and watch for uranus fueled erratic behaviour. If you can, wait out making any major decisions at least until the end of the week when the power of Neptune has waned somewhat. While we slept on Wednesday, September 20th, just before 3.30am the moon went void of course. It enters Sagittarius just after 7am. The Sagittarius moon, while a bit of a relief after the intense Scorpio moon of the last several days, is square Saturn and Mercury. In the morning, we could feel emotionally stuck, held back, as if our excitement is being blocked by rules, regulations or authority figures. In the evening, communication might be especially challenging. 
We are also still coming off the sun's opposition to Neptune, so information can be distorted. Tonight, just before 10.30pm, the sun is exact in the trine of Pluto, which can deliver the truth we've been looking for around secrets, power dynamics, and what we need to do to evolve and transform ourselves. Pay attention, take notes, and be ready to move ahead with what you have found as we move into the end of this week. On Thursday, September 21st, the fog is finally lifting. The trine between the Sun and Pluto, which was exact last night, lingers today. Insightful information, secrets revealed, or what we need to do to transform ourselves are all being offered by the stars. Today, there's a lot of very powerful healing that's possible, especially around old hurts and in the cracks in our relationships. After a retrograde Venus summer, under the last full day of the Virgo sun and of the season, here is the balm and remedy many of us have needed. Healing is possible, though it won't necessarily be offered on a platter. There's work to be done. The Moon, Venus, Mars and Chiron, our wounded healer, form a transformative and fated kite configuration. The grand trine between Venus, the Moon and Chiron in the fire signs tells us that joyful self-love and expression is the key, not one of losing yourself to appease others or play small. We however also have to reconcile the contradictions and fine line between loving and respecting ourselves, yet also knowing we need to work with others to partner and cooperate. The wounded inner child, as represented by Chiron in Aries, will often be triggered when this balance is out of alignment. Nobody's perfect, we're doing the best we can, but taking some time to reflect on where you abandon yourself to appease the other with a Mars that is currently in detriment and a south node in Libra can be very helpful today. Give yourself lots of love because you have made it this far and deserve so much. Friday, September 22nd can be rather challenging with the first quarter moon square involving the mutable signs. The Virgo sun at those final critical 29 degrees is being squared by the waxing Sagittarius moon and this is triggering a T-square with Neptune in Pisces. We're being called to let go of what is not serving the intentions we set at last week's Virgo new moon. Perhaps it's time to expand what we think we're capable of, letting go of limiting beliefs and the Sagittarian shadow of assuming we know it all. With the service axis of Pisces and Virgo illuminated by the sun for the last time this season, it's good to ponder where we may have given too much and need to pull back to take care of ourselves. If you can avoid the potential conflicts in this configuration, this energy can be a good motivator to work on some of your goals. Venus in Leo, now direct, is trying Chiron in Aries. This also reinforces the message of loving ourselves and not being afraid to set boundaries and stand up for our needs. This is not without challenges, as Mars in Libra is building in its opposition to Chiron. We have to integrate the pain of the past so we can make these better decisions in the present and future. The Aries Libra axis really is making us look at where we fall in terms of respecting our own needs and making compromises with partners. Independence and codependency are the topics of the day. The moon goes void of course for a short period just before noon before entering Capricorn just before 1.30pm. It is then sextile Saturn, calming emotions and helping us to see things more clearly and objectively. Then at 11.50pm on the west coast, the sun enters Libra, where it will be until October 23rd. Saturday, September 23rd is the official first day of autumn with the autumn equinox and the first full day of the sun in Libra. Light and dark hang in the balance. With the sun in Libra in its fall, Mars in Libra in detriment and a south node in Libra, we'll want to watch for overweighing all the pros and cons and getting stuck in indecisiveness or passive aggressive behaviour. At its best, we can now make peace, smooth over some of the struggles we may have experienced this summer and embrace a more social, charming and cooperative season. This is off to a lovely start when the Capricorn moon makes a grand Earth trine with Mercury and Jupiter. It's a wonderful time to get together with friends, to communicate with hope and clarity and generally enjoy this first day of fall. Venus in Leo is still trying Chiron in Aries, adding to the ability to heal old wounds with love and self-respect. Venus is also perfecting her sextile with Mars, so our passion and cooperation between the masculine and feminine archetypes is finally being given some positive energy. 
Mars and Venus play chase but never quite made their conjunction in the summer but now they get to connect in the sextile with Venus and of course us much wiser. The evening however has a potentially tense and rough patch. The Capricorn moon ignites the building Mars and Chiron opposition in a T-square. We'll want to watch for triggers around those old wounds of authenticity especially if we feel like we've already given away too much ground in compromise. This could be a combustible evening, so proceed with caution. The morning of Sunday, September 24th can be a continuation of the tension of last night, as the Capricorn moon now sets off the Aries North Node and Libra South Node in a T-square. Compromise versus authenticity. Learning from the past, but not being stuck there. Mars is also exact in its opposition to Charon. How to proceed into the future with the right partnerships while staying true to ourselves, Today the part where individual needs must be honoured and when we have to compromise with the other are all potential trigger points. The moon is also conjunct Pluto before it goes void of course and both are sextile Neptune. So while feelings are running deep, there's a lot of intuition available, especially when we slow down and tune in to navigate any turbulent times. Mercury is also very strong and building in a beautiful trine to Jupiter. Venus is perfecting her sextile to Mars too. Both Mercury and Venus had to descend into hell this summer and now there is so much more optimism coming to both. Our love life, finances and communication, no matter how dark they may have felt, are seeing glimmers of hope and forward momentum. We can sense that there is a lot of guidance and abundance to come. The moon then goes void of course just after 1pm before entering Aquarius just before 4.30pm. We then end the weekend with a lovely dinner time trine between the airy moon and sun. A wonderful night for a dinner, to spend time in fascinating company or a beautiful setting. Next week, mark your calendars for Friday, September 29th. This one may pack a punch. We have the full moon in Aries while Venus is exact in her square to Uranus. That ongoing axis of the self, Aries, and other, Libra, is being put in the spotlight. With Venus square Uranus, finances and relationships could see some unexpected twists. I wish you a beautiful week and thank you so much for joining me here. As always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And please write me a comment below. I truly appreciate you and the kind messages you leave.